Hello, this is Tammy Bowser from HowToSewArt.com, and I'm going to show you how to make artistic patchworks. I want you to imagine that you can make museum quality art quilts like these, and I'm going to show you how the easy way. So here's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you the technique I use to make my quilts look more artistic. Of course, I'm going to show you how I do it the easy way. <laughs> I always do it the easy way. And here's a couple of quilts. These are my quilts and these were actually purchased by museums. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what I did to make them artistic just yet. I'm going to show you some quilts. But these are two of mine. The one on the right, the ballerina, is in the Shelburne Museum in Vermont and the, the one on the left is an international uh, quilt international quilt museum in Nebraska so let's go on of course I do photographic quilts and it's not a secret that you need a good photo to start with but just choosing a good photo doesn't make it artistic uh, I'm going to show you in just a moment how to make them more artistic. And as you can see here, this is um, me showing Alex Anderson on Simply Quilts, you know, a little patchwork here you could see, and um, I'm showing her how to do it. That's in my first book, How to Sew or, uh, Simply Amazing Quilted Photography. And here's me on. Um, art, what is it called? Um, Quilting Arts TV, of course, you could see that. That's because I'm a quilt artist. So I've shown, I've appeared on many of the quilt shows, teaching them this very thing. And here's some of my students doing the same thing very easily. I want to show you what that is right now. Here's another example. A few more examples. These are all using that little secret, that easy secret I use to make it, the quilts more artistic. And this works on any type of quilt. You know, of course I focus on these photographic quilts, but it does work on any type of quilt. And here's one that's just the opposite. Can you tell what it is? How it's different than the others I've just shown you? Well, I mean, I'm going to give you a second. Can you guess? Just think about it for a minute. Look at that. All right, I give up. I'm going to tell you what it is. Well, the difference between this quilt and the other quilts is this one is using realistic colors. And it's a lot less interesting to look at because you're trying to do realistic colors. I think we have many fabrics in our collections. If you're watching this quilt and you go, you attend quilt shows and go shopping at quilt shops, you probably have a lot of fabric and a lot of beautiful colors. Well, I believe in using all of those colors and what it does is it makes your art quilts appear more artistic by choosing a beautiful color palette using all of those beautiful colors. So um, I'm going to show you, give you a little bit more detail here, but you got to remember there's, there's always a complicated way to get to the bottom of things or you can try many things. You can try many, you know, theories and ideas, but it's like the red line on the top. You can start at point A and go round and round in circles and then you, you you take you a long time to get to point B or we can keep it super simple and you go right to the point of the matter so so what I do is I use little patchworks and it has to do with the pixels see if you look really close at any picture whether it's on a screen like you're watching now on your phone on the TV or even in a newspaper or, or a magazine you'll see that there's squares of color. Or I look at those squares of colors, those pixels, as patchworks. 
as, 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 as fabric. That's what I think about it as. And for my process, I replace those blocks of color with those blocks, those pixels with, with fabrics. And of course, I pick artistic fabric. That means I don't try at all to match the, the, the natural colors that you see because it's more interesting and it's more beautiful when you choose beautiful colors, which you already have. That's great. Here's an example. One of the quilts that I really love from the beginning when I first started uh, making my quilts. And this one, you can see it's in various colors. And this is one of my favorites. Um, I had never even been to a quilt shop. I think I bought these fabrics at Joanne. There's nothing wrong with those fabrics. And I think this was one of my favorite little patchwork, artistic patchwork quilts. And here's an example of a, of a snapshot that I used. And here is, ta-da, there's the quilt I made with it. And of course, he's not blue but this quilt came out amazing and that's because I used an artistic color choice. So here's, I want to show you now an example of what some fabrics might look like and these of course are not natural at all but, but I'm going to show you what happens when you enter those into a picture and look how fabulous that looks. I'm showing you here on my software Quilty Photo Deluxe and this allows you to translate any photograph into a pattern and you can even preview what the quilt is going to look like using your fabrics if you enter, to enter them in on this fabric valuations tab. That's a wonderful thing. Here's another example. This is an awesome um, fabric choice you can make and it's very convenient because you could just get these little palettes of color that you can buy. You see them all over the place at the quilt shows. You can get them online. But this is a fabulous one. And look at the wonderful quilt that would be um, that you could make with those fabrics. And again, I ran this through Quilted Photo Deluxe and it, it allowed me to see what the picture would look like. And I think that's just amazing. I love it. Here's another example of just fabrics I chose, all kind of different um, colors and of course I used light medium and dark fabrics again I brought them into Quilted Photo Deluxe and look at how beautiful that is using this little girl this little photograph of this little girl here so again my secret to making quilts more artistic doesn't that look arti arti artistic my solution or my theory and my way of doing it is use those beautiful fabrics you have, an artistic fabric palette or choices of fabric to make your quilt look more more artistic. That's kind of hard to say, but, but I want you um, to invite you. I have much more to teach you. I've just shown you a little bit of what I do here, but I'm, I'm going to let you know that you are invited to my free art quilting webinar on my website and I'm gonna give you more tips I hope you um, um, will come visit me at howtosewart.com slash three secrets and when you do I have another gift for you when you come and join me for the free lesson I'm gonna give you a free seven-day trial of one of my software called quilted photo express and with with that um, with that free seven day trial you can make as many patterns from your own photos as you like for seven days and of course at the end of that seven days I hope that you will um, love it so much that you'll come back and get the full version of the software so join me from the comfort of your own home for my free webinar at howtosewart.com slash three secrets and before I go I want to show you a few more quilts that I've made utilizing my artistic fabric choices and look at just the fabulous effects that I get from using all of those fabulous colors 
all that beautiful fabric. And so thank you for joining me in this in this lesson. I'm, I'm happy and I hope that you again join me at howtosoart.com slash three secrets and it's gonna be it's easy it's fun and I hope that you will join us again I'm Tammy Bowser and thank you I hope I'll see you in class <laughs>